Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at shape keys again, a little more advanced version of it. So you should be quite comfortable with using shape keys for creating morphing type animations. And I have quite a few tutorials posted. You know, the basic one is in my playlist for uh, tutorials for new users, Blender 2.6 tutorials for new users. And then if you search my channel and just type, you know, first grade calculus and then shape keys, you'll find like four or five tutorials I have posted on using them. So what we're just focusing on in this lesson is creating drivers for basically giving you better control over your shape keys. And so the best way to do it is by example. So we have our basic character here in the scene. It has a little nose like that, eyes and a mouth. And so we're going to go create shape keys from the upside down triangle. I'll press the plus button. There's our basic shape here, basis shape, and I'll get a couple more like this. And I'm going to change each one. And of course, we have to go into edit mode. And maybe I'll go into face select and I'll just grab the eyes. And I'll change this to individual origins for my pivot, my scaling. And I'll just S. And that'll be that shape. And then for key two, maybe I'll get the mouth. And I'll scale that on Y, S, Y. Yikes. Let me just get the mouth only. S, Y. Uh, you see what that's skewing because I didn't change my pivot point back to my <laughs> medium point. Okay, S, Y. All right, there's the mouth like that. And then for the third shape, key three, I'll go back into vertex select. And maybe I'll just move it on X, G, X like that. All right, so there we have our three shapes like that. And we can go verify that by moving them here. Key one, there's the eyes moving key two, there's the mouth moving, and key three, there's the nose moving, like this. All right, so now with these set here, what we want to do is we want to get to the shape key editor. This is what we typically have done in the past. So we come up here, go to the dope sheet, change this from the dope sheet to the shape key editor, click this object, and there are are the keys associated with it here. And this is how we had added keyframes in here before with the shape key editor. You can modify them up here to see them. But then if you actually want to set them, you set them by changing the values in here based on where this is located. I have video tutorials on that as well. But we're going to override this because in the hierarchy, after this takes place, then the drivers can take precedence over what happens in here and I'll show you what I mean. So instead of the dope sheet, we want to change this to the graph editor. And within the graph editor, then I'm going to change this F curve editor to drivers. And so what this is going to be, these are going to be, a, it's kind of an easier way to control all of these shape keys. We can con combine them like all in one. And we'll do it with a, an object or a bone, but we'll start with an object. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to put a let's say a plane in the scene, a mesh plane. And I'm going to rotate it on Y, R, Y. Let's say 90 degrees like that. Scale down. And actually, since I've rotated, just because, just to keep things square, I'll press Control A and I'll apply the rotation to the scale. So now it's, def it's you know, it's local axis is appropriate. So we're going to use this to control the the animations of the shape keys like this and that's what the drivers are all about so with this selected what I need to do is with key one selected I'll right click down in the field down here and I'll add a driver I'm gonna add multiple drivers for key two I'm gonna right click and add a driver key three I'll right click and add a driver I mean I'll click and add a driver like that so now I have three drivers and then you'll notice if I come over here and press this here are my values set in here but now let's before we continue on let's go over back into the dope sheet for a second and notice now these are purple and if I try and change it I I can change it but it doesn't do anything in here but that's because it's being overridden by the drivers because now the drivers take precedence over the control of the object right so ne so now what becomes important is the properties so you from within this within the graph editor here. I'm going to press N and get my properties up like this. And I'm going to click on the first one, say key one, which was controlling the eyes like this. And there's quite a few things in here, but it's 
pretty straightforward if you come down here. There's a couple things we need. One is under the drivers itself. See this tab here, drivers. You see it's scripted expression. This is this is if you do a Python ex expression. I'll do those in advanced lessons. But let's just use the average value for now. All right. And then we also don't worry about the error. That just it's there. All right. And then this variable there's all there's already a default variable. I'm going to close it just so you see. And then what happens is you add the variable here and when you do it adds a variable. And I'm going to change it to the transform channel like this. And then I want to basically I want to control key 1 which are the eyes based on something that I do with this object. And what I'm going to do with this object, I'm going to move this object left and right. And I'm going to use that to control the shape key of the eyes. And then in maybe another case, I'll move the object up and down, and I'll control the shape of the mouth. And, th and so just using this one object that can control all these different shape keys like this. And so it, you'll understand where it becomes simpler in the long run. So for the eyes, I'm on key one here. I want to do it based on the Y loc no wait let me see yeah there's my Y axis here so based on the Y location and I want to be in local space like this and then if we go down even further notice if you look under this generator here it shows the values are set between 0 and 1 so it's basically saying when this polygon is between 0 and 1 it's modifying the shape of the driver so let's just do that let's grab this thing and move it over here where it's between 0 and 1 uh oh, something's not happening. Okay, what have I done? Y location. Oh, I didn't pick the object yet. So the name of the object is plane.001. So I come in here and I grab the plane like that. Okay, now the, this is associated with this particular shape key. So if I grab this and move this between 0 and 1 where it's physically located, let's go down here and get this N here so we can see its physical location. Here's Y. If you watch that, when it gets down to 1, there, see it starts changing it. When it gets 0, it stops changing it. So when it's between 0 and 1, it's affecting it like that. All right. So now we're going to use the same object for something else. So go back into here and, and we're going to grab another one. We're going to grab 2, which was the mouth. All right, and we're going to do the same thing. Let's see. We don't. We don't want to. We want the average value in here. Don't worry about the error. Uh, the variable is the transform channel. By default, there's a variable already in place, but we want to change this. In this case, I'm going to use Z. So I'm going to use the Z location and local space, like that. And also, here we have to select the object. We'll use the same one plane dot zero zero one and it's also transforming between zero and one yeah okay that's fine so now let's see where Z is here's Z I'll click this and move it down and when it gets down to one nothing's happening no KY all right what have I forgotten plane dot zero zero one let's update the dependencies all right all right let's see now yeah, there it is, between 0 and 1 there. I forgot to update the dependencies on that. All right, so the, now when I'm moving it up and down, it's moving, and when I move it left and right, it's moving like this. So then, of course, I could just press in here G, Shift, X. So I'm moving it on Y and Z only. And so then by moving this, now I'm controlling the eyes and the mouth with one object like that. And then I could go do the same thing with the last one as well and control the other one just by clicking here, getting this one here. I'll make sure it's on here. I don't think it has to be adding a driver. I mean, adding it to this one as well, and then I could control that. So we'll, uh, we'll just do it. The, I know the lesson's a little bit long, but we're going to do it anyway. It just takes a moment. So again, averaged value, uh, transform uh, this time instead of location let's rotate it on X rotation on X local space let's update the dependencies so this last one was 
changing the nose so I'll turn it sideways like this but I'll grab this and now let's rotate it on RX and then by rotating on X you can see I'm changing it and I must be close enough to the uh, axis to the Z axis and the Y axis to change the uh, the values as well that's interesting let's see RX I don't know why it's changing both. It shouldn't be changing both. That's strange. Well, okay. But anyway, I think that kind of gives you an idea. It gives you enough information where you can get started and experiment and play around. And that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next video.